here we have the outside of the Auto Trail Amala 615. As we move along, we will firstly come to the grey water drain just here. It's nice and simple to use, just turn like so to drain off any water that has gone down your plug holes into the waste holding tank. After that we have the mains hookup lead point and then we have the gas locker. Plenty of space in here as you can see for two bottles and this particular van runs a regulator with a crash sensor in it which means that if you want to you do not need to turn your gas bottles off for travel. You will see if I rotate this bottle round that the pigtail hose here screws into the bottle at this point here and then is tightened with a gas spanner and then runs all the way up to the regulator just here. When we turn the gas bottle on what we then need to do is hold this green button in for about 3-4 seconds and it will then purge the gas into the motorhome. What would happen in the event of something going wrong and this hose here being severed in any shape or form, this valve here will recognise the sudden drop in gas pressure and cut the gas off. You will also see that the regulator itself also has a crash valve in and when that is activated this little yellow button here will pop out to indicate that it has been activated. Sometimes these can also accidentally be activated if you go over a bump quite violently. To reset what you will need to do is get your little trimmer tool just here and you'll see this little bit just on the end that then needs to go into there you push in and then twist and it will then hold back into place again. Next we have the fresh water drain just here and with this particular one all we do is we just turn to drain the water. If we now just go slightly above that we have the location of the Fetford cassette to remove, lift and slide towards you. All of these Fetford cassettes now come on wheels with an extendable handle. Pop your blue solution in through this point here, just unscrew and then it also empties from this point here as well. Just remember when pouring away make sure you hold this button in to release the vacuum inside. It is also a good idea to keep this seal here lubricated. On the majority of the auto trail models, if we now remove this part here, there is a small fan just here and when you press your flush button that fan will activate. What you can do is add one of these filters in like so and it will then make the cassette smell much nicer. These last for approximately about four weeks and then will need to be replaced. You do not need to use them if you do not want to. But if we now pop the cover back on again and then grab the cassette itself and then make sure that we're engaged again just down there. We now come around to the back of the motorhome. Nice and easy if you ever wanted to add a two lay bike rack as the fixing points are already fitted. And then the reverse camera just sits there. As we then come around, we have the water point just here. So just add your hose in here, fill up your fresh water tank. You will see that it is also lockable just here. As we then come round we then have 
the fridge vents just here and then the trim of flue just here for the boiler you do not need to do anything with these just make sure that nothing is obstructing them and then we have the barbecue point just here you will see that the barbecue point itself is just attached with a cable tie at the moment so it needs to be removed what you then need to do is attach this ribbed part here to the hose of your barbecue with a jubilee clip and then this end here then pops into this point and will lock into place and you'll then be able to turn the gas on to remove it just push in and it will then just pop back out again we then have access underneath the bench seat we then have the roll out canopy just up here and then the diesel fill point just here diesel cap unlocks on the ignition key and then the add blue top up just there